was very clear in her instructions. Each plate must be exactly two feet and two inches apart. Go grab a ruler. I mean, okay, if you say so, but I'm pretty sure both the king and queen are really busy getting ready right now. Not that kind of ruler. We need to measure the plate placement. So not, like, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, I'm not. Oh, we gotta start the show. Come on, go, 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 go. Excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> Welcome to the Jester, Jester Show! show. Uh, featuring our very special guest star, the, the Hell Witch! <laughs> Tonight, you people are in for treats. Prepare yourselves for a night of fabulous dance moves! <laughs> Stunning vocals. <laughs> and, uh... Who's there? Anna. Anna who? Anna Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and stay here to the end to see our grand finale magic trick will well make the head wench disappear. Listen, you two. Lady Chamberlain was very clear you are to stay far away from this event. She's running a strict schedule. Yeah, a strict schedule with no time for real entertainment, huh? Huh? The no? Royal? Okay. Thanks. The Royal Court is the entertainment. They have tons of beautiful songs to sing. We can sing. Didn't you hear us just a minute ago? Yes, and I'm surprised my ears didn't start bleeding. Edwards! Oh, oh, one second, one second. Okay, guy. I couldn't find a ruler, but I figured I got two perfectly good feet right here, so if I could- Stop! You'll ruin the garland. It took me three hours to get the perfect 15 degree swoop that Lady Chamberlain requested. Here, maybe you can measure with this. Ta-da! Are you capable of anything helpful? Yes. When I was searching for a ruler, the king gave me this note. He told me to place it at the queen spot. Okay. Lady Chamberlain didn't mention anything about that, but I suppose if it was the king's directions, then we shouldn't dare disobey his orders. Tonight has to be perfect. That means there can be no mistakes, no chaos, no jokes, and no shenanigans. Lady Chamberlain promised me a sizable promotion if this evening goes well, and I'm not going to let you three screw this up for me. Okay, yep, got it, no mistakes. Okay, fine, no jokes, but I didn't hear any rules about p -p 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 pyrotechnics. Johnny, to the fire! No explosions. Fire. You two, out. Come on, at least let us introduce the royal court. Please, pretty please, 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 please. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Lords and ladies. Princes and princesses. And peasants of all ages. We proudly present to you... Oh, wait, wait. Before we, before we do this... I almost forgot. Before we introduce the Royal Court, we have two very special new additions to our show to introduce to you. Can I get a drum roll, please? Love the drum roll, please! <laughs> For Cozy Harry's as our guard... And Kai Susan for our... Hey. The Royal Court!
here tonight for this wonderful holiday celebration. We would like to extend our deepest gratitude to Lord and Lady Chamberlain for planning this spectacular feast. Your choice of lighting is making my dearest wife sparkle like a sky full of stars. I couldn't agree more. Queen Royal, you look absolutely stunning tonight. You really are the fairest of them all. And my king, you looked quite dashing as well. You truly are an it's Sorry to interrupt the love vest, but we must keep moving along. I have this evening planned down to the second. It's time to introduce our extra special VIP guests for this evening. I'd like to introduce you all to Lord Clark and Lady Joanna. These two peasants are the winners of the Kingdom of Brookshire's Royal Sweepstakes and have been invited to spend the evening with us as royals. Uh, hey dudes, pretty cool to be here. <laughs> Thank you for allowing us to join you this evening. It is our greatest honor to be here. The honor is all ours. Thank you for having me and my lovely wife here as well. It was a long journey from the other side of the rainbow. But Princess Catherine and I did bring an offering for the king and queen. Wow! <laughs> Thank you! It should be tons of fun. Fun and organized. If the court could please refer to the color-coded scrolls placed before you, you'll find a detailed schedule of tonight's festivities. Oh, how lovely! King Joshua left a letter at my PlayStation. Oh. Roses are red and your eyes are ever green. Your voice is the music that plays in my head. Have the happiest of holidays, my beautiful queen. Love your secret admirer. Oh. What a wonderfully thoughtful declaration of your love, though I'm not sure why I understand you signed as my secret admirer. Love is an ocean wave. She is the shore. And he is waiting for her to crash into him. My queen, I did not write that letter. <gasps> well, I don't see a love scandal anywhere in the schedule. <laughs> Can't we make some room? I love a good scandal. <laughs> Nonsense. It's time for a song. Perhaps Lord Clark would like to lead us in our first two. Oh, uh, sure. A one and a two and you know what to do. Happy holiday to you, happy holiday. Happy holiday to you, happy holiday. Here's your health and life and happiness, here's your health and life and happiness. Happy holiday to you, happy holiday to you, happy holiday to you, happy holiday to you, happy Wenches! What is the meaning of this? You are the ones who set the table. What is this mysterious note doing here? We were under the impression that the note was for you, Your Highness. Weren't we? Uh, yeah, you gave me the note and you told me to put it at the Queen's spot. I did no such thing. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> are you sure? All I could have sworn it was you. <laughs> it was definitely a man. Oh, but it could have been a woman. <laughs> Are you telling us you forgot who gave you that note? <laughs> Look, I was just trying to find a ruler and get back to you as soon as possible. I was distracted. It was all a blur. Don't worry, Your Highness. I'll get to the bottom of this. Perhaps a few songs could jog, jog this. Buffoons! Memory. How about Benny Benny Emmanuel? Benny Benny Even, 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 even
up to the company and one to my lass. Let us sing and be merry and all rest at last. Let us sing and be merry, all oh, grief to refrain. For we may and might never all meet here again. So here's a health to the company, well met here one and all. Let us sing and be merry and sound fill the hall. Let us sing and be merry and join this refrain. For we may and might never all meet here again. So here's a health to the company and one to my life. Let us sing and be merry, and all us be glad. Let us sing and be merry, all joy to retain. For we may and might never all meet here again. So here's a health to the company, well met here one and all. Let us sing and be merry, and a song fill this hall. Let us sing and be merry, and join this refrain. For we may and might never all meet here again. So here's a health to the dear lass that I love so well. Her style and her beauty sure none can excel. There's a smile upon her countenance as she sits here with me. Sure, there's no one in this wide world as happy as we. So here's a help to the company, well met here one and all. Let us sing and be merry, and the sound fill this hall. Let us sing and be merry, and the joy this refrain. For we may and might never all meet here again. Huzzah! Lord Lucas, what's a passive-aggressive choice of song? <laughs> what's up, Royals? We heard there was some tension in here, so we thought we'd lighten the mood by telling some jokes. Jesters, you two are not supposed to be here. Look at this schedule and tell me if you see mediocre comedy anywhere. <laughs> well, Lady Chamberlain, I would, but we can't read. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. Me neither. <laughs> we figured you could squeeze us in your schedule since it's already been so thrown off. Plus, the head wench is too busy yelling at the wench anyways to stop us, so... Excuse me, but it seems we have forgotten that there is a mystery to be solved. No oh, yeah. mystery? <laughs> King Joshua, this bozo has finally remembered something. Go on, tell them. The person who, named, who gave me the note was wearing the king's crown. <gasps> the king couldn't find his crown anywhere while we were getting ready. We were looking everywhere and it suddenly appeared outside of our quarters. That means whoever gave the wenches the letter must have been disguised as King Joshua. I'm sure if the secret admirer revealed themselves right now, the king would show them some mercy. <laughs> No guarantees. <laughs> Excuse me, my handsome intelligence king. Would you mind if I looked at the ledger? <laughs> Your voice is the music that plays in my head. Have the happiest of holidays, my beautiful queen. Happy holidays? I seem to recall Lord Clark leading us in happy holidays. A coincidence? I think not. Lord Clark, what do you have to say about this? Man, I didn't write that letter. Happy Holidays is the only song I know. Oh, darling, don't be silly. Of course we know more royal songs. We're experts on being royals, aren't we? Nah, dude. Don't be ridiculous. We know Jervain and Dithera. Let's sing that one. Na 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 na
no, 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 No. The guards let them in only a few moments before we entered the hall. There's no way either of them could have given the note to the wench. Oh, of course. Well, the schedule says it's time for Mary, did you know? Perhaps this will inspire the scoundrel to step forward. Mary once. You, you did? 
You mean you knew a Mary. You couldn't have known the Mary that we were singing about. I absolutely did. I'm a fortune teller, and Mary came to me to learn more about her unborn son. A, a fortune teller? Can, can you tell me my fortune? That is absolutely ridiculous. Baby Jesus was born centuries ago. Oh. Well, I'm a time traveler. <gasps> How magical. Yep, my fortune telling actually inspired the writing of that song. Oh yeah? And who exactly did you inspire to write this song? Uh. Me! I wrote it! You're so talented. Oh, enough already! This is ridiculous! It's time we move on to the next song. Oh, I think the blank is stuck to my throat. It's drying out. I think I need some more sail. What sail, what sail all over the town? I trust it is white and dark and it is brown. Our boat it is made of a maple leaf tree with a wassailing bowl. So here is to Cherry and to his right cheek. We got send our master a good piece of beef. And a good piece of beef that may we all see. With a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. Drink to thee, drink to thee. With a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. And here is to Dobbin and to his right eye. May God send our master a good Christmas pie. And a good Christmas pie that may we all see. With a wassailing bowl we'll drink to thee. Drink to thee, drink to thee. With a wassailing bowl we'll drink to thee. So here is to Broadway and to a broad horn. May God send our Master, a good crop of corn, and a good crop of corn that may we all see. With the wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. Drink to thee, drink to thee. With the wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. And here is to Phil Pell and to her long tail. Pray God send our master, us never may fail. Of a cup of wassail, I pray you draw near, and our jolly wassail, it's then you shall hear. Drink to thee, drink to thee, with a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. Come butler, come fill us up all of the best, then we pray that your soul in heaven may rest. But if you do draw us a bowl of the small, then down shall go butler, bowl, and all. Drink to thee, drink to thee, with the wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. Be here any maids, I suppose you be some, sure they'll not yet young men stand on the cold stone. Seem hey, your maids, come draw back the pin, and the fairest of maids shall let us all in. If you are impatient, you may burn your tongue. <laughs> Lady Curtsy and Lord Daniel seem to know a lot about love. Yeah. Have you two written any uh, love letters recently? No. Love blooms and grows with every sunrise and sunset, adding color to our lives like cotton candy clouds. Oh, who am I kidding? 
It's impossible to make sense out of anything the two of you say. This is ludicrous. No one would willingly throw themselves under the bus. Lady Brienne, this is a serious situation, not just some content for your gossip column. Yes, gossip collar? I don't run a gossip collar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Everyone knows that Lady Cancelton is just a fake name you use to expose the court secrets to all of Brookshire. I'm yeah. an avid reader. Yeah. Woo, <laughs> a fan! I mean, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> What's that? Prince Kyle? You want to oh, sing now? Oh, Great oh, idea! Okay, okay, okay. Um, why don't we sing Go Tell It on the Mountain? Oh, <laughs> 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 While shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night, behold the Yeah. 
Not for cleaning thy teeth. Use the library for reading, not for disguising love affairs. <laughs> Keep thy fingers clean, as not to discuss thy table companions. Keep thy promises, as to not become a dirty, dirty liar. <laughs> thou must keep thy knife to thyself, lest be forced to grub with thy fingers. Thou must retain loyalty to thy wife, lest be forced to sleep with the livestock. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> the poor head in hand bear I bedecked with bays and rosemary. So I pray you, my masters, be merry, protestis team convivio, caput apride feror et ens Caput aprite feror et ens laudes domino. The steward hath provided this in honor of the king of bliss, which on this day to be served is in regin and tria trio. Caput aprite feror et ens laudes domino. Bright and birds singing, I pray you all to help me sing. To be turcus in apia. Caput aprite feror ens laudes domino. The board is a sovereign beast, except a bull in every feast. So both this Lord to be most and least. Noel, 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 Noel. Caput aprite feror et ens laudes domino. The boar's head we bring with song in worship of him that the sprung of a virgin to redress all wrong. Noel, 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 Noel. Caput We hope you enjoy your dinner. What do you think you're doing? Well, since you're allowing peasants to sit at the end of the table, we figured we'd sit here to, you know, balance it out. <laughs> I'm starving. Bring on the boar's head. Out. Hope you enjoy your dinner. And whatever you do, don't feed the jesters. <laughs> Queen Roya! And Lord Chamberlain, sitting in a tree. Carry on! Done long ago. Yes, Lord Chamberlain and I were only in the library because he asked me for advice. We were working on your Christmas present. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this true? <clears throat> yes. I couldn't love anyone but you. All right. I believe you. I can't wait to see my present. 
have it prepared for me to open on Christmas morning at 8.30 sharp. <laughs> Forgiveness is a gift of the heart. Love is a roaring river with waves of holiday spirit. Hi. Oh, I think the little lad wants to sing another song. He's tall, not even that blonde, and he isn't even wearing green. Those are just harmful stereotypes. You said you solved the mystery, you idiot. No, I said I solved a mystery. <laughs> Lullabies, dreams. And love ever after. Poems and songs and pipes and drums. A thousand welcomes when anyone comes. That's the Irish for you. <laughs> hey! Never making sense is our thing. <laughs> I feel you might be homesick. Perhaps the men of the court could sing a song to make me feel more at home? Yo, 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 yo,
Gather around the lies and lies and say you for a while Let's talk to me more to tell about the end of time Let's all raise our glasses hard to pledge a family god Lift our voices in another Irish drinking song Cause some shit took me mother and me father got the pox Me brother drank the whiskey till he wound up in a box Me brother turned in the troubles met with his demise Me sister has forever closed his mind and I his eyes Now everybody's dying We'll drink and drink and drink and drink and then we'll drink some more. We'll dance and sing and fight until the early morning light. Then we'll throw up, pass up, wake up, and then go drinking once again. Then he was killed in Kilk and he and Claire, she died in Claire. She took the tip of the tip, but Eddie died out in the Danielle. Shannon jumped into the river, Shannon back in June. But the army fell into the earth and Tom is in the tomb. Glenly, this is Godly, this me Uncle Pat would sing. He broke his neck a slipping on the bar to Irish spring. Oh, crazy, he was 18, though his bride was just a punk. He died upon the honeymoon when she got his Irish up. Hey! Everybody's died, so till the tears are dried. We'll drink and drink and drink and drink and then we'll drink some more. We'll dance and sing and fight until the early morning went. And we'll throw up, press up, make up, and then go drinking once again. ba da 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 Johnson broke his neck and was a crying shame, but he didn't really go to Notre Dame. Matamara crossed the street and by a bus was hit, but it wasn't the Irish, so the reason why he wasn't Irish was they didn't really give a shit. <laughs> And fight until the early morning light. Then we'll throw up, pass up, wake up, and then go drinking once again. Da 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 Conductive to also town, he used to smuggle arms Until the British killed a man, cut off his lucky charms And he got on the bed again, met the Lord of Roy Drunk on sacramental wine beneath the altar boy Hey, I'm everybody's eye, so do the tears are dry We'll drink and drink and drink and drink and then we'll drink some more We'll dance and sing and fight until the early morning And then we'll blow up, pass out, wake up, and then go drinking once again Someday soon I'll leave this world of pain and toil and sin. <laughs> the Lord will take me by the hand to join me with me, kid. My only wish is when the Savior comes for me and you. He kills the cast of River Dance and Michael Flatley too. Hey! I honestly don't think we'll ever be able to find who wrote the letter. It could have been anyone. Besides, 
King Joshua is the luckiest man in all of Brookshire to have a woman like Queen Roya by his side. Excuse me? Dude, live like the most beautiful wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No one in Brookshire compared to her in both looks and cleanliness. Aye, her smile, her smile gleams like me butts of gold. Well, one mustn't argue with the truth. She is the fairest of them all, isn't she? <laughs>
Maybe it's one of them. <laughs> all right, let's make a deal. I am a reasonable ruler, after all. If the secret admirer reveals himself right this second, I will send him to the dungeon rather than the guillotine. Yeah. No one's going to come forward with a threat like that hanging upon their head. Perhaps a song would make them feel more comfortable. Maybe if we put ourselves on the peasant's level. Noel, 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 Welcome. 
Come, dear Sandy, sing welcome, welcome. Now this dance shall know for the gold. We pray you, kind friend, why say you so? Because a friend of mine will not come to. They must come to, and they shall come to, and they will come whether they will or no. By the moniker of Nathan Coronado. Welcome, dear Sanderson, welcome, welcome. And now this dance shall no further go. We pray you, kind friend, why say you so? Because a friend of mine will not come to. They must come to, and they shall come to, and they will come whether they will or no. Dear Sanderson will not come to. They must come to, and they shall come to, and they will come whether they will or no. I seen this peasant. 
Kent roaming the halls before dinner. They must be the secret admirer. <gasps> Guards, seize them. Off with their head. Oh, my. <laughs> wait. Wait? What do you mean, wait? I've been waiting so long I started developing a stress rash. <laughs> I can't let an innocent peasant be beheaded. It was me. <gasps> <laughs> Chamberlain, you have some explaining to do. It's not what you think. I'm not in love with Queen Roya. No offense. None taken. <laughs> then, then why did you write the note? Because you took complete control over planning the dinner. It was going to be completely boring. <laughs> Everyone expects chaos out of these celebrations. It isn't a magical dinner if something doesn't inevitably go horribly wrong. Right. It's not like anyone comes exclusively for the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Lord Chamberlain here promised. <laughs> Wait, how could you have stolen the, the king's crown and given the note to the wench before dinner? You were in our quarters the entire time. I got the jesters to do it. <gasps> jesters! <laughs> yes, sir! Your Majesty, sir. Yes, Your Royal Highness. Lord Chamberlain, since everyone seems to have enjoyed themselves this evening, I won't be chopping your head off. <laughs> no, we're good. But we're good. if I catch you making any moves, real or not, on my wife in the future, understood, Your Majesty. The jesters, on the other hand, are fired. Thank you. 
wish you all a very happy and healthy <laughs> new year. <laughs> I, for one, will be spending my holidays surrounded by thousands of new presents. Let us always remember that the true magic of the season is found within our love. For, for one another. <laughs> and sometimes the true gold isn't found at the end of the rainbow, but within our hearts. Let us rejoice once more in song before we depart. How do you capture the wind on the water? How do you count all the stars in the Oh, see. 